unboxing of my brand new festive collection. That's right. It is almost December 2023 and I think I lost this entire year. I don't know about you, but it is almost December 2023, which means it's time for Christmas scrapbooking and December daily and all of the wonderful stuff that we uh, do this time of year, all the wonderful ways in which we document, and I am bringing you a gigantic Christmas collection this year, and oh, you guys, the colors are amazing. So this one is offered a little differently than my standard kits, so stay tuned. First of all, let's get these specialty prints out of the way. There are, as always, 20 patterned um, papers, patterns, in the collection. You can get them in traveler's notebook size, 12 by 12 size, six by eight size, and patterned card size. And just like always, if you buy the patterned cards, anything that has a specific orientation specifically on the um, printables will come in both orientations. Now, the patterned cards come in both four by six and three by four size in one pack. You can print either, or I prefer to print four by sixes because I can cut those down into three by fours. So the pattern cards are the same patterns as the Traveler's Notebook and six by eight sizes. I chose to print out the six by eights and um, cause that's the size that I use in my um, December daily. So here is the color palette. We have gorgeous cranberry red, pink, um, like a blush pink. No, it's not quite blush pink. It's like cotton candy pink. We have sky blue, gorgeous greens, and then a mint green and a nice off-white taupey color as well. Um, gorgeous color palette. I just, oh, it makes me so happy. Okay, let's look at the patterns first. So again, I printed out the six by eight size for my December daily. So starting off, we have a really simple, nice and easy to use multicolored tiny polka dot, uh, a reverse candy cane stripe, green stars on the off-white white color. We have Christmas trees. These are the more simple Christmas trees in the collection. There's also a more decorated one too, which you will see on this paper. So it's got the presents and it's got lights. We've got stockings. We've got snowmen in snow globes. We have mittens and hats and hot chocolate and wreaths and poinsettias and candy canes and ornaments and all of the different icons on this paper. There is also a paper of just the ornaments, really pretty. You can see all of the different colors here. We have the houses in the collection and they're all separated by these cute little white trees. Those are the most busy icon papers in the collection. I don't know why they're all clumped together in one, <laughs> one round, but we got some more simple papers too. We have this buffalo plaid in red and pink, a nice Kenny Hane multicolored stripe. Snowflakes for those of us who get snow. Fingers crossed this year we get a little bit of snow before Christmas. I don't think so. It's pretty warm today. We have the stripe in the collection, which has candy cane stripes. It has Christmas trees. It has snowflakes. It has the stars and dots. So this one's a little bit more fun, decorated stripe, almost like wrapping paper. This mint green with the Christmas trees. And I know that on camera, the mint green and the blue is kind of hard to differentiate. It's actually the printing of from Office Depot. I'm going to have to start submitting my files in CMYK and see if it prints different. But once we get to the digital kit, you'll see the, the difference more clearly between the blue and the green. I'm definitely going to be reprinting anything that had this mint green on it. We've got pink with the red stars, the more Christmassy stars. Can't have a Christmas collection without peppermint swirls. So we've got a peppermint swirl dot, holly leaves. I love this green with this um, mint green. Those stars again in a multicolored pattern. Mint green with the berries and boughs. I love, love, love this plaid. You know I love a good plaid. It's always one of my favorites. Then we have two different poinsettia papers. One is red on red and the other one is multicolored. Oh, so pretty. So with these papers, I tried to go more graphic, more simple than your standard um, 
Christmas collection. A lot of Christmas cr collections are really like vintagey and overdone. And I just really wanted something clean and simple with these papers. I love, love, love them. So also in this collection, we're getting two different sets of signatures. One set is journalers, one set is the actual signatures. Now, because I pulled the journalers out of the TN signatures and they got their own pack, the TN signatures actually have six designer cards and six different pattern colorways. Now the signatures are offered in both um, traveler's notebook size and six by eight size. And then the journalers are offered in traveler's notebook size and three by eight size. So I decided to print out the three by eights for myself and then the traveler's notebook size for the signatures. And then I also printed out the papers, the other like alternate patterns, alternate colorway patterns from the signatures in six by eight. That way I gave myself some more six by eight paper options. So I'm going to put those aside for the moment and we'll just look at the traveler's notebook size all together. But of course uh, you can mix and match and print any size that you want. I just chose what would work for my own documenting. So we've got Maybe Christmas, he thought, doesn't come from a store. Maybe Christmas perhaps means a little bit more, which is, of course, the Grinch. Here's one of the new patterns. Ho, ho, ho. I loved this big, bright, bold red star. Solid colored peppermints. Oh, Christmas tree. And on the 6x8, it has an extra row of Christmas trees to fill the space. Oh, by golly, have a holly jolly Christmas. Different sort of plaid. And that poinsettia, again, this one is on that mint green. Actually, it might be on the blue. I'm not sure. I think it's on the blue. Uh, but it is a different colorway for that poinsettia paper. We've got, oh, what fun. More of the stars. This one is green on green. Merry Christmas and peace on earth. Feels especially poignant this year. I mean, every year it feels poignant, but this year I'm feeling it. So I wanted to point out while we were looking at uh, the signatures, how I printed a couple of different things. So now one of the joys of um, having printables is being able to print them however you want and create completely different looks just based on how you print them. So I printed out one of the six by eight signatures on vellum. So we've got this sort of vellum divider here. And then I printed out one of the other ones on um, clear acetate, but then I added one of those holographic, and I don't know if you can see it very well, um, but there is a reel or there will be a reel on my Instagram that has a better view of this, but I added one of the holographic star, um, sticker paper overlays to this divider. And so now it has holographic stars on it as well. So there are so many options when you have printables that you just don't get when you buy a paper lines and different ways to um, change those up and make them work for you. Give yourself some really cool options in your albums. So the journalers, they also come in traveler's notebook size, but I printed out the three by eight size. They're a really good mix of useful journal cards for your album. So I chose to print the three by eight because I felt like this size is, I'm more likely to journal on these three by eight cards than I am on a full traveler's notebook size page because these are great dividers that can go in between your pages of your spread and give you a place to journal without feeling like you're actually dividing up your pages. So we have a really good mix of some listing style ones. There's some with titles. Like we've got the um, houses on the bottom of this one, presents on the bottom of this one. Then we have stars. So there's patterns, there's, um, you know, journaling lines, there's nice blocked ones. This one says tis the season. Just a whole bunch of different, really easy to use, very fun printable journaling cards, three by eight journaling cards. Speaking of journaling cards, I have two sets of journaling cards for this collection. As per usual, this is set number one. So we'll look at that first. For every set of journaling cards, I create two four by sixes, one is a designer card and one is a journaling card. So we've got remember this, enjoying this, documenting this. And then we have a very Merry Christmas. 
Then, of course, the December monthly card. This one's in the shape of a Christmas tree. Let your heart be light. Decking the halls. Ho, ho, ho. The greatest gifts aren't found under the tree, but gathered around it. Peppermint labels. Making spirits bright. And another journaling card with those beautiful poinsettias. A second set, again, two three by fours, or two four by sixes, eight three by fours. We've got all hearts come home for Christmas. And then some cute layered tags. It says December days. Then we've got 25. Celebrating the season, the sweetest season, or just sweetest season. Tis the season. <laughs> you make my heart melt. Tidings of comfort and joy. I love these star ones. May your days be merry and bright and making a list. So those are the two journaling card sets, all the journaling card sets and all the different sizes. Now, what's really fun about this collection is that there are not one, not two, but three different sets of stickers. Now, uh, for the haunting collection, if you pick that up, you know that I had a... Um, icon set and a regular sticker set with the countdown numbers and everything. I did that again with this one, but then I had an idea that I wanted there to be currently prompts in this collection. And I didn't want to do just like currently feeling, currently celebrating, uh, because you know I'm extra. So I had to make it different. So these are actually going to be tags and they're printable just like the stickers, cuttable just like the stickers. And they don't all say currently blank. They uh, all evoke currently prompts, but they're not all just currently blank. So let's let's check the, all these out. Let's start with those since we, we were just talking about them. So there are three sheets of these currently tags is what they're called. There we go. Okay, so there are 24 all together. So we've got holiday baking, currently making, festive feasting, currently feeling, holiday watch list, shopping list, currently playing, and on our way to visit. Now these have the bleed on them so that I, I have some um, room wiggle room in case the silhouette me messes up. So these are actually trimmed down a little bit when you print them or when you cut them, I should say. There are also versions without the bleed. There are fussy cutting versions. If you don't have a silhouette or a Cricut, uh, these have lines along the white parts so that you can easily see. So we've got December forecast documenting the weather, traveling to the story of this year's gift wrap. I don't know about you, but I document our gift wrap every year. Seasonal reads, I love to read seasonally. Currently crafting, loving this, reflections, today's to-do list. And then we have currently decking these halls, enjoying this, celebrating together, currently sipping, Wish listing, what's on the menu, current playlist, and feeling a bit stressed for those of us who, who stress out about the holiday season like myself. Then we have a set of icon stickers, three sheets of course, has all of the icons from the collection in the in three sheets. So we've got um, a row of Christmas trees that cut as a border, lots of patterns, stars, and hearts for those like layerable pieces, as well as the snowflakes. We've got houses and presents and ornaments and flowers, stockings and wreaths and Christmas trees, candy canes, more houses, more of everything. We've got hearts on this page to cut out, patterned hearts, milk for Santa with a cookie. We've got the, um, hat and mittens, more of these snowflakes, more ornaments. They're all different on every page. So you get a nice variety of embellishments for your scrapbooking. Last page, there are also, I don't think I pointed out, there's also banners on these pages with some titles. So this last page says comfort and joy, let's get merry. There are also some um, postage stamp style word bits because you know I have to put words on everything I couldn't just not have words so these are the more fun decorative words um for the collection then we have the little stars as well here's a snowman super cute that is the icon set last but not least is the actual sticker set so what I wanted for the sticker set is I wanted there to be a sheet of labels because I know how important labels are this time of year places to write 
Then I wanted a set of, of course, all of my word bits. So we've got some more tags up here. We've got filled with holiday cheer, North Pole mail, wish you a Merry Christmas, glad tidings, do not open until December 25th. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. Dear Santa, please accept these cookies as an apology for this year. Sending all my love, feeling festive, season of joy, comfy, cozy, say cheers, holiday vibes, this, or love this, peace on earth, let your heart be light, Santa, I know him, comfort and joy, deck the halls, our tree, holiday magic, holiday traditions, bah humbug, photo details, spread good cheer, all I want for Christmas, best time of the year, season for family, feeling grinchy, and jingle all the way. So lots and lots of words here, lots of easy placement things. And then the last page is of course the numbers for this collection. I went real nice and simple and graphic again this year. That is the name of the game with the festive collection. It is really easy to use, very graphic, very fun um, and clean. It feels like a very clean collection. So we've got one through 31 and it rotates through um, patterned and not patterned. So they're all different. So we've got one, two, so you can see this one has the circle of dots. And then we have pattern, circle of dots, pattern, circle of dots, pattern, circle of dots. And then when we get back to pattern, it's the blue, of course. So we don't have the dots anymore. We have pattern. So it kind of uh, rotates through uh, not patterned, pattern, not pattern, pattern. That way you don't have like the same, like I just, I like things to be different. If we're going to go different, then we need to make sure that we're really making things different so that we don't end up with like 10 and 11, both being the same thing in a row. That would drive me crazy in my album. So I don't do it to you. <laughs> then down here we have today, joy, happy season, burr, and so sweet. And then some titles down at the bottom, New Year's Eve, Christmas Day, New Year's Day, December, December in two different fonts, and Christmas Eve. And then we have some arrows. Whew. So those are all of the printables, specific printables for the festive collection. Let's hop over to the computer and check out the digital kit as well as the bonus alpha for this collection. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> One more thing. Before we hop over to the computer, I wanted to show you something else too. So there's gonna be a series of reels, or I've already started posting them. I'm not sure if I posted them or not at this point, of um, different things that you can do with printables. And one of those things is creating your own washi tape. So this one is like a shaped washi. I've printed these on washi paper. And you can see that they're semi-see-through like washi is. They've got that sort of vellum-y appearance. So I've got all of the patterns and there is a tutorial on my Instagram reels on how to do this in your silhouette software and your Cricut software. And then I also wanted to show you, I printed out the numbers on glitter paper as well. So there's so many things that you can do with printables that you just can't do if you have printed product. And I really wanted to show that off this year um, with this collection and the haunting collection too. I really went all in on showing you guys that as well. So I just wanted to show you those things before we hopped over to to the computer. Okay, now we can go to the computer. Okay, first I wanted to talk about these adorable alphas. They are patterned alphabets. They are chipboard in style. There are seven different ones in different patterns. Now you can print and cut these fairly easily if you know your way around the Silhouette um, or Cricut software, and I have a tutorial on my in my FAQ on my blog on how to make your own cut sheets, which is what you would do with these alphas as well. Um, a lot of you really loved the logo for the festive collection. So I went ahead and made you an alphabet based on that logo. And then let's talk about the digital kit. My heart is totally in this adorable collection. So I always had gold in mind when I was designing this collection, but that's really hard to uh, effectively get across in printables. So I decided to just stick the beautiful gold accents in the digital kit alone. So you can see a lot of gold throughout this collection, including on the alphabet down there in the bottom right corner. You can see they are like little alpha bubbles that are rimmed in gold. We also have some chipboard style titles to go with those gold titles so you can make festive season merry christmas comfort and joy as one big title or you can use them separately as well there are some stamped word bits like very merry joy traditions fa la la there are glitter presents as well as glittered 
<laughs> uh, florals and things like that. They're two different styles of glitter just because I was having too much fun. Um, there are paper flowers, lots of chipboard, lots of acrylic in this collection. There's mixed media, of course, as well as ribbons and bows and washi and buttons and flare and all of the usual suspects for the texture in this collection. So it is just so fun, so pretty. I love it to death. I think you're going to love it as well. So if you enjoyed this video, I'd love it if you give it a thumbs up. You can pick up the festive digital kit, the full collection, on sale for Black Friday during the release weekend at 50% off. Yeah, I'm not even kidding. 50% off at tracyreed.com or sweetshopsdesigns.com. There is a link in the description box below. Of course, the sale does expire, so if you are watching this after the release period, it's still worth buying at full price. It's pretty adorable, I think. <laughs> so uh, I'd love it if you give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. I'd love to have you. If you don't already, you can follow me over on Instagram where I post tons and tons of content I think you'd really enjoy uh, me over there I've really st slowed down posting on YouTube um, in the last few months and concentrated on shorter form content over on Instagram so if you're interested in that you can go ahead and follow me over there and I will see you next time all right thank you